All right, this is Arclash. Uh, we got the new Lucian helmet with a good roll. We got a shard of Rathiel. This is the new unique sword for basics that will add four times damage when you had that 300% roll. So I'm missing 42% uh, damage that I could possibly have off of it. Uh, we got Moonrise. We're, we're running Starless over Telrasha. It just felt better. Uh, and that we really needed the crit chance. And then we're just running a normal ring with adaptability, getting some value out of that. We're running Rapid. Uh, we have Hectic for cooldowns, and we also have Orange Herald because uh, we don't have two unstable current cooldown reduction tempers. That helps get us our unstable currents back. And then we actually don't even bother to run Pain Gorgers. You just get like so much more damage out of running Shredding Blades on here. Uh, we have Raiment. And then, yeah, the enchants are Teleport and Ice Blade Enchant. I'm not really going to go over too much else. But let's see how this does for Lilith. That was pretty good damage. And and just so you know, like she'd be dead already if I had a 300% aspect. That would have just one phase there. I just want to get her to the next phase. I don't really care about any of this. Well, we're pretty tanky here, but I got four stacks. She's going to end up killing me. But. Yeah, if that would have just nuked her. If I had a 300% sword, that would have just straight up nuked her. Alright, so let's go run a pit with it. That damage was really good on her. She's just... Yeah. Yeah, 40% more damage, she would have just been nuked, and we would have avoided those mechanics. Alright, so let's go take it into a pit. Take it into a 101 pit. Now, these are kind of pre-nerf. This is PTR. Um... Let's get, we're just going to use a max life. This build's going to use a lot of topazes. All right, so let's just go into a 101. Let's just kind of see how it feels. And then after the 101, I'll take it. Well, you'll see the damage on the boss. So I don't really need to take it into the training dummy to show you kind of what the damage is like, because you'll see. So it's like, you know, just not barely even ramped, already hitting for 15 million. And then always bear in mind, these numbers should be 42% higher. So, you know, we're looking at 30 to 40 million damage a hit. And I'm not really feeling the loss of cooldown reduction off Arasha. Because I'm only hitting with two elements, I'm really not getting that much value out of it to begin with. Uh, the teleport enchant feels really necessary. The ice blade enchant feels really necessary. It lets you give up the cooldowns. Um... I just I opt to not go burning in this just because of how much investment you have to put into it to get value out of it. And I honestly just it just felt better with TP and all the ice blades out. Because the more conjurations that you have, the more uh, mana regen that you get, which really isn't the biggest issue once you run Starless, but I don't know. This is just what I felt was best. And something's up with the pits, they just don't feel that good right now. But we run Raiment and Teleport Enchant because of the grouping, because of the new node, the flickering Arc Lash, where you need to hit three enemies to get 50% damage. So it, does, it doesn't struggle, because the damage is fine, but it doesn't do that good of damage on single target elites, but it has extremely good boss uh, DPS. Alright, now we can actually cook, now that we have this thing. But density's a little off in the pits, and they're taking forever to hit the boss. I think they messed up something with how much points you get from the elites. Too many damage numbers, but it's a lot. Oh, we need to kill this guy. Alright. The pits feel really off right now, so I'm sorry this isn't the best gameplay. They like scuffed up. They, they like scuffed the density. They scuffed how much health they have. It's like the old pit scaling. Like the bosses are super weird. They're dealing so much damage. So hopefully I don't get nuked in the boss. But I can see this build going really fast once the like farming 101 is like extremely fast. It's just the PTR. Everything's super messed up. But this sword is crazy. This gives Arclash so much damage. But 
I do have issues every now and again with Raymond getting stuck and like not being able to attack enemies. And it gets a little dicey sometimes. They took away a lot of our defensives, I'm not gonna lie. And hopefully I actually get enough enemies. Like, I feel like I should already be at the boss. This should have been a three minute to the boss. Something just feels so off with it. But these are like, these are all like 10, 20 million damage numbers on like these packs. When it's like the elites and I can actually ramp. They're like dying too fast so I can't really ramp. <laughs> so it actually plays worse the easier the easier the content is. What's cool about the build though is that like, I don't know, I'll, I'll go over it actually after I kill the boss. I'm dead. This is making for some great YouTube content. I just want to get to the boss. I just want to show the boss damage, that's really all I care about. But yeah, the, you know, these elite packs are just getting absolutely nuked. So I'll talk about something real quick. So what's cool is, with the sword, you know, it makes your basic skill cost 25 resource. And then you can combine it with Crown Illusion. And then, like, as you spend resource, you deal more and more damage. And then you can combine it with Starless. So that, you know, you're spending resource, you're getting Starless stacks, you're getting resource cost reduction... You have like four times damage with this. It, the mana is clearly fine. And then you like top off the mana with a little bit of, um, you know, if you have like permanent unstable currents, you're making crackling through destructive chain lightning. You don't really even need this, but yeah, with unstable currents, you're making crackling a lot through destructive chain lightning. You're also making crackling through static discharge. You can take Invader and Conduit just to top you off. And if you ever do go below 50% resource, adaptability is going to bring you back up. But I think we do have to do this little boss thing so that we can lower its health i think that's still a thing i think this is besides the i know chain lightning is bugged with uh, lucian and axials right now but i think this is going to be our actually like besides maybe firebolt i think this is actually going to be like our strongest build the damage is just insane and i'm missing 42 percent of my damage that i could have and i'm chunking this boss for 22 million a hit like we have a real build And yeah, just doing really good damage. Definitely having some survivability issues, but that's fine. And that guy got nuked. All right, I will take it into the Kyovishad. Let's go test it out on the dummy. Kind of zoom in, you can kind of see what sort of damage that it's doing on one of the bosses. This is probably Unless they like giga buff the chain lightning axial pants, because that the chain lightning axial pants has a value of like twenty two thousand. I just don't think it's high enough. You're not rewarded for specking and playing the mana regen game because that whole bug thing with uh, Lucian and axial that's gonna go away. There's no way that's making that into the season five. So this is basically what we're gonna have because this is like crazy damage. And like my paragon isn't even perfect it's like kind of scuffed and stuff like that i'm missing some non-fizz you know for like my frigid fate and stuff like that but it's pretty good but let's see what it ramps up to try and zoom in 18,000 uh, 18 million 21 million try and get it we got 15 conjurations out right now i have eight ranks of conj mastery total let me see what kind of damage we can get So I'm seeing a lot of 17, 20 million. I saw 28 million. So, you know, you're going to be looking at like 35, 40 million damage per hit on this. I know it's hard to see because of all these ice blade numbers and all the regular numbers. But, you know, we're, we're getting some good DPS, dude. This is like 100, 200 million like DPS, I think. It's, it's pretty good. All right. That's it. This is Arc Lash. It's looking like... Go over the full setup again. It's the Crown Illusion, 24% uh, damage. 25% no, damage, it stacks up five times and it increases your resource cost. I'm not totally sure how the resource cost, and there's you know there's some math to it with like, it's like base resource and then it doesn't, I don't know, don't worry about it. The mana was fine, that's all you need to know. I figured it out. <laughs> then we take Raiment, because the main reason we take Raiment 
is because of uh, this node right here. This new flickering one. Arc Lash grants 5 mana if your swipe hits at least one enemy. When you hit 3 or more enemies or a boss, your next swipe also deals 50% damage. So the grouping is really important during the mobbing phase, so that you're hitting in like... You need you need to group enemies. They need to be grouped. Um, so let's go back to it. Uh, and then Gloves. Just attack speed, crit strike chance. Then either int or like crit damage gloves. I think we're going to be stacking damage to close on this build. It's probably what's going to be the angle because it has the highest value. You know, Arc Lash Pants. The, I'm not going to go over all the affixes and stuff. You know, it's going to be what you can get. Attacks Reduce Evade Boots is the one thing. We, we had to give up Asus for it because it's really the only way that you can run. Um, a Teleport Enchant is you need Attacks Reduce Evade. So you can run Flickers or just like evade cooldown reduction boots it doesn't really matter uh obviously the new sword this thing's amazing um and just rapid with a double chance to uh proc arc lash swipe uh cooldown is going to be really important on this build so you're really going to need you're really going to want ga cooldown on your focus and ga cooldown on your amulet uh to be perfectly honest but I have 18% cooldown in this build, and like everything honestly feels pretty fine. Mainly because of the Ice Blade Enchant, and the Hectic, and the yeah the Hectic here, and the Orange Herald, reducing my unstable currents time. So like everything feels fine, even with like you know two regular cooldown rolls, even with 18% cooldown, it feels fast as shit. Um, we're not gonna. We're, I'm just opting to not run Tel Rasha. I just like don't need it and I'm really only hitting I'm only hitting with two elements in this build. I just like felt like I got a lot more damage and value out of Starless. Because with Starless I'm not dropping below like when I I don't know. Let's see. Like my mana see see my mana does get low sometimes unless I'm like picking up crackling. It's fine. But I mean you can honestly run Starless or Telrasha, it's really up to you. You're gonna get way more damage out of Talrasha uh, out of Starless though because it's 50% versus 30. I guess it's just whether you want crit chance or you want cooldown. You're going to get way more damage out of Starless. But you have an adaptability ring. Adaptability does work on this. Um, it's pretty good. Like Just like straight up doing casts. 10 million. And then with Talrasha see it's like 5, 6, 7 million so it is way more damage just with like a normal ring with adaptability. Definitely working. Conch Mastery on the Amulet. Attack Speed Cooldown with Moonrise. That's that's the setup. We got it dialed in. And the only thing that's going to stop this is if they nerf the shit out of this sword. Because the helmet is working intended. There's no bugs right here. Um, because we're not using the Axial Pants. This helmet is just doing what it's supposed to be doing. So unless they giga nerf the helmet and they giga nerf the, so the sword, we should be okay. And they probably won't get nerfed because these are both generics. And Barb can use them. And what does Blizzard not do? It doesn't nerf Barb. So these should be fucking fine. So I think that's the name of the game going forward with Sorcerer. Is to use generics that Barb can use. Because they'll be really good. <laughs> Alright, enjoy guys.